About two years ago, I wrote a column for The Guardian about town planning. And I was talking about the wasted opportunity of estates which are being built these days, where there's no green space, there's no, or there's no communal green space. And I was talking about how the best kind of planning it involves having a sort of village green in the middle of the estate with the houses facing onto it where children can safely run out without any danger of cars or strangers or anything like that. And the place I chose as my example was this place which is just across the road from my house here in Mid Wales. And it happens that um, two years after I wrote that piece a five-year-old girl was abducted from, from this very spot. And it's, it's had the most traumatic effect on, on everyone connected with this town. I, it's, uh, I still have nightmares about it to this day. It's, it, it's, it's the most devastating thing that, that could happen, especially to a very friendly, close-knit community like this. And yet, it has not changed by one jot my attitude to having my children playing outdoors. I, I, I want them to play outdoors just as much as ever before, and I want them to be unsupervised just as much as ever before. The reason I want my children to continue to play outdoors is, is that the risks of playing outdoors, I believe, are so much smaller than the risks of being confined indoors. Mm -hmm. There's a real risk from traffic, that, that's true. And, and that's a risk, obviously, you, you need to minimise through teaching your children to, to be hyper aware of the dangers of cars. But the risk of stranger danger is absolutely tiny. And the awful thing that happened here does not change that. It really does not change that. Whereas the risks of what I call estrangement danger, of being confined to your own home and your own room and estranged from the natural world, estranged from other children, estranged from life in general, those are very high indeed. And they are psychological risks. They're also risks to your physical health.